Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about pointers in C++. So let's make a program. Include IO stream int main and return zero. Okay. So with pointers, um, what's actually happening is you're getting the address of where your value or the variable you're working with or whatever data type you're working with is being stored. So if we have a uh, int num is zero, for example, you could create a pointer by using the star symbol. So you have star and then the name of your pointer, I'm gonna call it num ptr. And then you need to use the ampersand to get the address, okay? So if I, let's see, yeah, so this is your pointer and then the pointer is the address of your variable, so the ampersand will get your address. And if you want to extract your value from your pointer, you have to dereference it by using the star symbol again on your pointer. So if I say int num value equal to star num ptr, what that does is it dereferences pointer to get the value that it's pointing at. Okay, so if I run this, in debug, you can better see what's happening. Okay, so notice our number is zero, our pointer is this address here, and then our num value is dereferencing the pointer, so it's getting the value that our pointer was pointing at, which is gonna be zero, okay? So that is what's happening. Okay, so that's our pointer, and then we could pass pointers into functions. So let's make a function here. We're gonna call void increment pointer and then pass in int star num. And inside we're gonna say, we're gonna dereference the pointer by using a star, so star num. And then plus plus will increment that value. So if I come in here and call increment pointer and pass in num. Let's put a breakpoint here. Okay, so let's see what it's saying. Argument int is not compatible of int here. So this should be a pointer num ptr because this is a pointer. Okay, so if I run start debugging, we're gonna see what's happening. So um, right here we have a num pointer and if we step into, we see that num is being passed in here and then it's gonna try to, it's the same num that we had up here. So then if we step over, it's gonna increment that. The address will be the same, but the value will change to a one. And then if we step over, it's gonna exit, you see that num got incremented to one. Okay, so it's kind of like pass by reference, but here we're actually passing the pointer and then the value, the original value um, will get updated, okay? And then we can also do things like a null pointer. That's one way you could initialize the pointer to be pointing at nothing. So if I say int star null pointer, the keyword is null ptr, and that's how you define a null pointer, okay? So if I run and start debug, actually, let me put my breakpoint down here. So if I start debugging, we will see our null pointer is zero, zero, okay? So that's the address of our null pointer. And you could use this in uh, like if else statements. So if not null pointer, so if the pointer is not null, then we could say, or I mean, if the pointer is null, because if zero, then it's true. I mean, zero is false. So if it's not false, which is true, then it's gonna print. So we're gonna say scd cout, pointer is null. So if I run the code, you'll see that pointer is null, just add an ER. 
pointer is null, okay? So that's how you can work with null pointers. And then we can also do things with arrays and pointers. Um, what you'll actually find out is that arrays are technically pointers in a way, and we'll see what that means. So we'll have a const here and create a length of three. And then we're going to create our array here. It's going to say int my array. And then going to make it a length len. And then initialize it to one, two, three. So this is our array. Right, so I'm just going to use the auto keyword because I don't want to specify the array pointer just so my code is simpler. But let's just do this so it's it appears to be like mystery variables that we'll find out when we go to debug. Okay, so here what we're doing is we're going to have the first one is we're pointing array, we're setting array one to be our um, array. And the second one, what we're saying is we're going to get the address, the ampersand, the address of our first element of our array. Okay, so if I run this and let me save this and run it. So if I run in debug, we're going to see array one, array two, you notice that both are pointing to the address. So what that tells you is when you're actually looking at, if I hover over this, you see it's in star, in star. So they're both pointers. So technically, an array is a pointer. And what it's actually doing is just getting the address of your first element. So that's why these two statements are actually equivalent. And then if you wanted to increment your array, you're actually you know, pointing your array to a different location. So if I say auto, array three, for example, and I say star my array plus one. And if I do auto array four equals my array one. So what this says is um, I'm getting my array, the pointer, adding one, dereferencing it, and then that will get me my value. Or you could just use what we did before, you just um, choose the index of your array, and that will also give you your value. Okay, so if I run this, start debugging, you see that it'll give you two, two, because that's the value of the array. So technically, we could um, do additions with pointers, incrementing the pointer to a new location, dereferencing it, and then get our value. So. That's pretty much it for pointers. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.